Details are emerging about the flash fire that badly burned two Marines. Those terrifying moments unfolded at MCAS Miramar last night. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins is at UC San Diego Medical Center with what prevented this fire from being even worse. One Marine's hands looked like they were badly burned. Both were rushed here to the burn center. We do know one of them is in critical condition. Marines aren't supposed to look like this, weak, stripped down and strapped to a stretcher. Marines have asked us to blur their faces for privacy reasons. The work is relentless and it's a dangerous job. Everybody knows that. But the two maintainers were doing routine maintenance on an F-A-18 Hornet when a flash fire erupted. It's an exceptionally unusual uh, occurrence. Colonel John Farnham would know. He flew Hornets for 22 years and retired as the commanding officer of MCAS Miramar. These Marines are what the Texas Base Reserve Squadron called the Cowboys. I've never seen a fire occur uh, during a maintenance action on an airplane. Maybe some fumes had built up somewhere or something occurred that they didn't expect. The fuel that, interesting enough, that the Navy and the Marine Corps use is called JP-8, and it's actually a less volatile form of jet fuel because of its shipboard use. That's not all that may have helped them. The crash fire team at Miramar is one of the best. This Marine appeared to be in pain, but he took time to thank first responders. Thank you. They aren't supposed to look like this, and they aren't supposed to get hurt on home soil, but they serve knowing how quickly it can turn to sacrifice. Thinking about those Marines would be in my prayers tonight. I've been talking to the Marine Corps and trying to get the latest on how they're doing. In Hillcrest, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.